Hello, I'm Craig Sapinoff. And I'm Lauren Small, and you're watching the American Fitness Network. utilizing the magic circle. Um, what I'm going to do today is a couple of traditional mat exercises for traditional Pilates, but I'm going to incorporate the magic circle just to make them a little bit more advanced, a little bit more challenging, and a little bit more interesting, something to spice up your mat work. So let's start with a very basic exercise from the mat work called the roll-up. So traditionally the roll-up is done, starting lying on your back. We're going to do it and in a circle, instead of holding the circle like we normally do, we're going to place our hands inside the circle so that we press away working the rear deltoids. Start lying down on your back, arms extended all the way overhead, and the feet are pointing. I'm going to engage my abdominals and close down my ribs. Now inhale to begin to lift those arms. Chin rises to the chest. I'm going to flex my feet, exhale, peel your gut up off of the mat and reach all the way forward. I'm still pressing away into those circles. Now roll it back, drop the shoulders down away from the ears, engage the abdominals, inhaling. Exhale, release the arms and point the toes. Let's take it one more time, still pressing into the circle. Inhale, the arms come up, shin towards the chest, flex the feet, exhale, peel the back up off of the mat, rounding forward, scooping through the abdominals and reach past those toes if available. Drop the shoulders onto your back. Inhale, begin to roll back again. Keep flexing the feet. Keep pressing into the circle. Pressing the back down one vertebra at a time. Exhale, release those arms and point your toes. From here, we're going to take the circle into our hands. And we're going to go into a little mini V up. It's kind of like a teaser, but without the full lift of the spine. So we're going to take an inhale and lift the arms and the head only. Eyes facing at the belly. Exhale, lift the legs all the way up and place the circle in between your ankles. Now keep the upper body elevated. Exhale, lower the legs as far as available to you. Inhale, lift those legs back up. Grab the circle between your hands. Exhale, release the legs all the way to the mat and then release the upper body. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, the arms and the head come up off of the mat, pressing the lower back into the floor. Exhale, lift those legs straight up to the ceiling. Place the circle between the ankles. Keep the upper body lifted. Lower the legs down to potential. Lift the legs back up. Hand the circle back to your hands. Legs squeeze together. Inner thighs are glued as the legs lengthen away from the body to release. And release the upper body. Moving on from here, we're going to bend the knees and go into a variation on shoulder bridge. Place the circle in between the knees or inner thighs. Feet are about hip width apart, arms reaching long by your sides, energy through the fingers. I'm going to tuck my tailbone under, engage through my core, and heel up until I'm in a big shoulder bridge right here. Maintaining a nice flat position. You want to be sure that your ribs aren't slaying open. Sew them down and drop them together. All I'm going to do from here is squeeze the circle and release. Squeeze and release. I'm working my inner thighs here, keeping my glutes engaged and my abdominals engaged. Let's take 10 of these. After the 10th one, we're going to release and I'm just going to tuck my tailbone. It's a very small tuck. We curl and release. Curl and release. You want to think about bringing your hip bones towards your ribs. Every time you curl, it's an exhale and you're drawing the navel deeper. Two, and one. Let's put both of them together. So as you curl, you're going to squeeze. It's a squeeze and a curl. A squeeze and a curl. A squeeze and a curl. Another combination, you can go squeeze and release. 
curl and release. Maintaining the bridge the entire time. One more, squeeze and curl, and then roll down one vertebra at a time. Tailbone is the last thing to hit. Grab the knees, pull them into your chest for a stretch in the lumbar spine. Rock yourself up to a sitting position. So three great exercises from traditional mat work with a little bit of advancement using that magic circle. For the American Fitness Network, I'm Lauren Small. Thanks for watching.